Have you ever heard of the herpes virus? It's a sexually transmitted infection that can cause painful blisters and sores, and unfortunately, there is currently no cure for it. This means that once you're infected with herpes, it's a condition you'll have to manage for the rest of your life. So the question is, can you develop immunity to herpes? Well, the short answer is no. Your immune system is responsible for protecting your body from viruses, bacteria, fungi, and toxins, and it has two parts, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity is what you're born with, and acquired immunity is what you develop over time as you're exposed to new germs. For example, a teacher who interacts with lots of children every day is more likely to develop a strong immunity to the common cold than someone who works from home and has fewer interactions with other people. But unfortunately, there is no herpes vaccine, and no one is naturally immune to the virus. In fact, herpes can exist without any symptoms and lie dormant in the body for months or even years, so sometimes people might think they've developed immunity when really they haven't. There's also no scientific evidence that immunity to herpes has ever been achieved. So what about using CRISPR to create immunity to herpes? CRISPR, or CRISPR-Cas9, is a type of DNA sequence that can be used to edit genes. It was modeled on the natural defense mechanisms of bacteria, which used CRISPR-derived RNA and proteins to block attacks by viruses and other invaders. In 2019, scientists from Harvard Medical School successfully disrupted the herpes simplex virus and identified weak spots where the virus may be susceptible to gene editing. While this could be a step towards a herpes cure, it's still in its early days. Herpes can also be asymptomatic, which means that it doesn't show any symptoms. This can be especially dangerous because people with asymptomatic herpes can still transmit the virus to others. The best way to prevent herpes and other STIs is to use condoms and practice safe sex. If you're already infected with herpes, it's important to disclose this to your sexual partners and to take steps to minimize the risk of transmitting the virus to others. So to sum up, it's not currently possible to develop immunity to herpes. While there is no herpes vaccine, researchers are looking into gene editing as a potential solution. In the meantime, it's important to practice safe sex and disclose your herpes status to your sexual partners.